Welcome back! Hey, there you are. Oh, we already talked to him. But! Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! We are a merchant! And we're off in search of investments and opportunities! And one of those opportunities is this thing called a steel strong box. And these things called moles keep getting in our way, which is why I have to stab them. Or slash them by the animation. Ow. Haha, uh -huh. you missed me and I'm fine. I mean, he doesn't mean he can't backstep. In this world, you can take a shovel a lot easier than most people can. <laughs> Maybe they're just real weak. Might be. Okay, we are in the cave of safekeeping, huh? Oh. Huh? Dang it. Ah, it's a worm! It's a wiggly. Wiggly, wiggly. Kinda hoping I'd kill that wiggly in one shot. Oh, I'm gonna use of these guys now. Eleven. The slimes I can usually one-shot. Yeah. Slimes have eight. <gasps> and this is one thing that Tornico has over other people, is that monsters will actually drop chests a lot more for him. I mean, that's what he's doing! Okay, so we got a chest over there. Let's go all the way down first. What is this noise? It's just staircases, but let's press that button first. Nothing bad will happen if I press a button. Oh, everything ah! bad's happening! It washed me up the stairs. Yep. You went tumbling up the stairs. Okay, however much sense that Go makes. over to the left, don't press button first. Let's get this. Immediate upgrade for your weapon, a chain cycle. Oh yeah. It bothers me a little bit when games don't have an equipment menu. I think this... I could have sworn this was supposed to have one. Like, when you have to go into items... Maybe it's under, like, misc? Equip. Equip. Ah. There we go. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay. Like, it's it's weird I, I, to I, me when you I'm... have to go into the items in order to be... Earthbound did that. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, Earthbound's based off Dragon Quest. Hey, let's press that button up there. Yeah, I'm not getting over this otherwise. Pressing buttons! Nothing's bad so happened to us so far if we press a button in here. Whoa. Why does this keep happening? Uh. Ah. Well, now I'm here. Am I going left or right? Uh, I think me... I'm going left. I'm pretty sure I'm going You're left. You're going left. Going right will take us back up all the way. Go down first when you get to their thing here. Hey, what you doing? Rolling Boulder. You know, I think one thing that I like about this game is that you see other people going out doing the things you're trying to do. You just happen to be successful at it. Yeah. Because so many times you go in, in like every JRPG, you go into a dungeon and it's empty. I think this is like Dragon Quest IV was one of the t first times they really did that. There's nothing this way. We want to go back. We want to go back up and around. But like you yeah, don't anyway. like you, yeah like you go into a dungeon and it's empty. Hmm. That's a big boulder. The boulder's free. Ah! The boulder's free. Keep running. Aha! So you can trick it into going down the right. I think the fun part I had is like keep in mind for the NES one this is like a single hallway mm. like as big as your sprite and the boulder is like as big as your sprite mm. and everything so it chases me the thing is, is that if it hits you it actually stops doesn't do anything <laughs> it like it just stopped there and I was like was he just like holding up the boulder or, <laughs> or hold, hold on wait a minute I gotta check my phone real quick I don't have phones in this universe 
So you can trick it to go down the right where there's another hole that the rock can fall in and another staircase. But that takes us where we came out of after talking to the brute guy. Yeah, anyway, you're talking about the NPC. So this is where we're actually going. In the dungeons and everything. Hey, it's a steel strong box. So there's this pushable boulder here. Yeah, it is. I'm going to take this with me. You never know when you're going to need a pushable boulder. You yeah, might have screwed yourself. I don't think you can get it out of the Fine. edge. Fine. There. I did it. They started doing push puzzles in like three, and it's been like a big thing throughout the series. Now we're playing Newtopia. I push it up a little more. Yeah, that's fair. But we finally found it. The steel strong box. Yeah, look at the size of that box. Yay. We got it. But the door closed on us. Dang it. God, I wonder what movies. Oh. Huh? 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 If only I had some kind of weight, something large and heavy that I could place on this in order to keep it pressed while I leave the room. I don't know, I guess I'll just shove this boulder on it and see what happens. <gasps> this is starting to remind me of some kind of movie, because there's a rolling boulder, there's also a weight puzzle, it's a, I don't know, it reminds me of something. Oh, hey, I remember you. Hey, talk to him again. See if he says anything different. Eventually. Hey guy, can you help? I'm like right over here. I don't see nothing. I don't see no moles fighting nobody. You've been transported to another universe. I don't care. I think what he talks about, I think what he's talking about there is that the boulder does follow you. Yeah. Dang it. Hey, Stump Chump. Stump Chump. We haven't seen them in it at all in this entire game before. But yeah, just talking about NPCs, though, like... Just in any JRPG, dungeon. you go into a dungeon, and it's just empty. You're there alone doing your little thing. And I just think it's so neat that there are NPCs in these dungeons also there to do the same thing. This was, like, cool in Ragnar's chapter. Where yeah, where the soldiers were exploring the area. Every step of the way, even in the tower at the end, there was some that had made it that far. Like, I, it's just so cool that there are other people out there. Padfoot. Padfoot. <gasps> Ooh, scale Ooh. shield. See if you can equip that right away. Padfoot, by the way, is basically, you can, you, it helps you sneak around. So you don't get attacked a lot. It, you have to pre You have to hit... You have to hit the accept thing, because you're go you're cycling through it. So hit. Oh, chase that's it. weird. I'm just gonna go back to my inventory. <laughs> Come on, you wanted this for three chapters. I mean, I did, but it's also weird. I don't want to have to like re-equip everything just to change what shield I have equipped. Works out better in later games. God, <laughs> stuck in your panties in a twist, you big old panty twister. <laughs> panty twister, by the way what we call our pantacrator part. Because, wow, do you fucking panic when lasers are everywhere. <laughs> the lasers. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so everything else here is decidedly worse than what I have, so let's just get going. I don't think there's anything else for us, so I may just edit out the whole backtrack. Nope, not going that way, gotta go right. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to eat your lunch, too, so we're going to spend the money. Oh, hey, I remembered this. <gasps> that's that place that we got waterlogged. It's weird that somebody somehow set up the tra water trap all over again. It's like, who gets paid to do that? <laughs> One step away from the, the ladder. He was standing guard from the stairway. We're out! Alright, time to eat that lunch. Yeah, I never ate my packed lunch. Well, you definitely need it, because you're kind of low on HP. My dear wife's going to be disappointed in me. I think Tornico actually has the highest HP of everyone in the group. I mean, I'll believe it. I mean, Chubbs McKenzie, how could you not, but... Man, having that extra level and a chain sickle, and these guys are weenies. Just plow right on through. Oh man, I'm getting so much Ooh, stuff. Hardwood headwear. Yeah, I can equip, equip that, that too. 
and red. I don't know. No, I think that is actually better than... Yeah, for the leather hat? Well, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's better than that. You see that one person I'm talking about the defense stuff? Like, four po four defense points equals one less defense, uh, one point of damage you take. Something like that, yeah. Fuck you, I'll upgrade what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I will upgrade everything, because having additional points in things makes me feel better. <laughs> And I got a crap ton of stuff to sell. Yeah, I think, I think looking by the chart over here, it says he has the highest HP of any everyone. Juno actually has the highest HP in the entire series without modifications. Hmm. Uh, oh, Yangus from Dragon Quest VIII. He, hmm. he can get at like level 99. I think he can get like over 800 HP. Hmm. Okay, otherwise we're also, good. Uh, uh, Sylvie's Wayfarer's clothes. Also a big chubby too, so. Boy, that one guy that came in, the brute guy that you were talking about, whoo, are they big in the Barra genre. <laughs> I am not kidding either. It's like, I wow. would, I would absolutely believe it. Especially considering where, the way Toriyama draws a lot of these characters. Like, damn. I worked hard. I don't know why I got this strong box. What was I hoping to accomplish? Uh, now that if you die, you don't lose any money. Well, I mean, I know that. That's cool. Now if you don't, and now if you die, you don't lose any money. That's like all you wanted. Okay. Actually, you can. Complete. I'm just thinking, like plot-wise, was there like a reason for that? Well, it's also because he's a merchant. So plot-wise, it, ma it makes sense because you know merchants don't like to lose their money. You can actually completely skip over it and come back to it in the, the, like the final chapter, and it'll say that it's rusted to the point that it's not working anymore. Oh, so but oh, I got got another packed lunch. Even if you get to the end and you have Tornico with the box, it'll basically say that oh, it doesn't work anymore. It's rusted, so it's falling apart. Okay, so what was that? That that guy. At the end mention, because I'm guessing this is what we're doing next. Oh, you did already, actually. Say yes, then. Okay, so I guess then we're heading south. Yep, we're gonna head south. <laughs> because we gotta go find ways to make money now that we got this stri steel strong box. And working is working the counter at that store ain't cutting it. Heck, just out here killing guys and selling the armor is making me more than that. Almost like a merchant. <gasps> I'm finding my supplies and selling them. Hey, a town. Kind of nestled in the woods here. It's the hamlet north of Ballymore. What the crap? Oh, you just go north. What kind of fork in the road is that? You're freaking out. A fox trot. She's dancing. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's two jars of the item shop you're gonna get, and then there's a large house in the north. We'll get an item in there. Yes, cool. but, it's, but it's one up for Marion, because I think I need to talk to them about something. Did I say that out loud? Damn. Dude, just standing on the bed. It's Archeo Tech. Oh, and he's an architect. I mean, really, who'd have thought? Uh, it's Foxy One. Foxy One. Well, we know where this is going. Oh, so it's Shinnick. I don't know why they call it the Hamlet North of Polymore. It's called Shinnick. Calling them Cubs. We know what your deal is. I'm... You're, you're losing me. You're, you're not even trying to hide it. I'm I'm lost. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's just a normal village here. Yeah, they're just legitimately standing on the bed. Okay. There's that dr uh, dresser there. I have found, like, when you see people laying down, if you rotate the camera around, it does show them laying down. Oh, yeah. Like, their sprite is laying, is in fact laying down. But no, not these two. They're just standing on the bed. That's a well, couple of weirdos. It's just this merchant. The fun part is you know who's going to join you because if you rotate the camera, they don't have diagonal sprites. <laughs> well, what are you selling? Ooh, a steel broadsword. Wait for a minute. It's only gold? 10 gold? It's too good to be true. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. 10 gold, though. I'm tempted to buy one anyway. 
You know what? I'm gonna buy one anyway. Uh, I mean, whatever. Your money. I'm going to buy it. It's ten bucks. Like, oh, uh, whatever. It's weird. You can't even equip it, and Tornico can't equip swords. Hmm. Like, I want to buy it just so I can like appraise it. And then the two pots behind him, you smash it for stuff. All right. So what's this? Oh, I got a cypress stick. Yeah, little bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna go beat him with this stick. Explains why it was ten gold. Yep. <gasps> Horse maneuver. Oh man. Appraise it. Appraise the horse manure right now. How how good, how good a quality is this horse manure? For the love, what are you at sticking that in my face? It's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. I mean, you can at least eat a chocolate teapot. It's made of chocolate. I get up the yard with it. <laughs> can you, like, not even sell it? Hold up. I'm pretty sure you can sell it. Okay, well, for one, I'm going to sell you the Cypress Stick Pack, because I'm sure I don't need it. Yeah, you can sell the horse maneuver. I mean, I would. Does it have any purpose other than selling? No. It literally has no purpose whatsoever. It's just horse maneuver. All right. I don't even think most games with alchemy use it, so... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, it is just a couple of houses. They probably set up shop pretty quick. And then there's one more in the big house up north. <laughs> Which, don't talk to anyone, just examine that... The, uh, dresser there. Boxer shorts. Oh man, boxer shorts. Now you get to praise those too. Hey, 75 gold's pretty decent. Yeah, and they have the, like the exact same defense as like the leather armor. <laughs> yeah, because it's worse than what I have, but I have no, I do have the leather oh, armor. Oh, leather armor. So oh, it's probably so. the same as like the wayfarer's clothes or something. Yeah, probably something like that. So what was that nope. about not talking to people? Well, now you can talk to them. I guess. Um, I hadn't even tried. Actually, if you do leave town, you it's an infinite cycle. Oh. So. I'd rather not. This place is weirding me out. I don't like you. <laughs> you lot are weird, and you're making a lot of fox jokes, and I don't know why. I'm getting out of here. Oh, I guess that's why they had this screen here. Yeah. This is basically just, it's a circle. Once you're in, once you're in here, you're stuck until you take care of it later. Well, time to murder everybody! <laughs> Well, that's kind of considerably rude. <laughs> like, I'm stuck because of your magic, so here we go. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm level two. I probably couldn't kill anybody here. What the shit? Yeah, that village is sure not here anymore. And my pants are still on. Whew, that was a good thing. Well, I'm getting out of here. Yep, let's just leave and never come back. Ooh, a castle. Hey, castles. And a broken bridge. That is sure a castle. Let's talk to the fine towns folks and see what they say. Oh, look at that broken bridge. That sure is a broken bridge. <laughs> I can't get across. Oh, you know, this is the bridge just north of Endor that was broken. Yep. Because we came here as Alina mm -hmm. and saw the broken bridge and could not go further up. This is the other side. Kind of all clicking in, isn't it? Yeah, get that world map figured out. Well, what do you say, strange lady? Bark, bark. God dang it. <laughs> So we gotta get to this Endor place that we totally have actually been to before. Mm. 
Ah, uh, we need a dog! Hey, go back in. That treasure chest behind the, the counter. Just turn your camera. There's the door. <laughs> Do you have a camera? Use it. I don't like it, it's weird. You can always just reset it. I'm so glad you told me that, though. Oh, is it just gonna be one Because of those, I like... was like, it's close, but not quite, and it bothers me! Yeah. Um. Uh... Oh, do you sell anything fancy? Oh, well, poop. Oh, he sells nothing. Oh, let's go around the back and steal all this shit. You got it! There's no back. There's the back. <laughs> Tell me you didn't have nothing, you had a seat of life! Can't break anything else you got, though. Alright, well, let's use this seat of life. It's in the bag. Dang it. There is an armor shop and an item shop next door, too, so. See what you got. Nothing, really. Yeah, same old, same old, same old. Break the pots, though. Ah! It's someone from Lak uh, Laknaba. Just having a good old chin wag. I don't know, wait. Say, talk to him again, what did he say? Oh, there's somebody from our hometown in the dungeon. Oh. They're basically saying if we want to go talk to him, we got to do a sneaking mission. Fair. Yep, not much down here. Do you want to break those merchant's pots in front of him? I'm getting there. Take that. And that. And there's one more thing in the item shop. I think it's just decoration down there. Oh, the weapon shop, sorry. I figured that's what you meant. More money! Oh yeah, money! Oh, you have you sell things. Ooh, look at that steel broadsword. Ooh. We actually can't equip it. That is funny. I thought he could equip it. Equip the hell out of that iron lance, though. Yeah, so that's looking like the best we got. It's the next step up from the chain sickle. So once we get the money, that's something to keep in mind. But you have some stuff to sell, don't that's you? That's true, I do. Can I sell these boxers? Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. That's stuff I want to keep. Stuff I want to... I can sell the stupid steel strong. <sighs> Unless I think that's you... all I had. Unless you have anything in the bag. No, I don't. Just got herbs. All right. There's the church there. Yeah, I think about the only thing left is... Now remember to hit the correct buttons. I'm just not going to save right now. I can go to the castle now, too. That's where I am! You got to talk to the guard out front, too? Or... I guess. You got to talk to all the NPCs. See? Well, if you'd miss out that welcome, what that would was, just happen? That was, worth, that was well worth the time. Okay. King's plot and invasion. So okay. he wants to invade as soon as the bridge gets fixed, so our goal is going to be to get the bridge fixed so we can get to Endor, but not have it be invaded. Because the poxy bridge is bajangst. Banjangst. If Archeotech was here. If Archeotech was here. What's this guy's deal? Oh, he'll buy armor from you. Alright. And now, if memory serves, I don't actually have anything to sell. But if memory serves, um, this guy will actually buy it at a significant markup. Also, make sure you buy a, a, a chimera wing. Okay. At the item shop. Don't go downstairs yet. Yeah, I'm just getting a, getting a lay of the land. I can go 
go upstairs. I'm going here first. Though. I talk to who I want. You know yeah. who I am? This shop is willing to pay, uh, pay considerably more than other shops in order to track extra Oh, meet me behind the weapon shop after nightfall. <gasps> is the Prince Reagan? Spot what? Final leave. <laughs> you heard me feelings. A guy trying to a sell shop, his shop, eh? And we're a merchant looking for our own shop. I'm gonna be... I, Obviously, that has nothing to do with anything. You know, I really friggin' like how this was led into in Alina's yeah. chapter, where the guy's like, I'm selling a shop, and we're like, we're not interested at all. And then next chapter, I I'm want me my own shop. Well, hey, how about that? Okay, so I went up there, so we need to go downstairs. Uh, Chimera Wing. I want to go downstairs. It's the dungeon. Sneaking mission time. Oh, right, crap. <laughs> actually, get two Chimera Wings, one for yourself. You actually do need a Chimera Wing. Yeah, I know now because it, that's, because that's the thing. So, okay. Out of the way. <laughs> I'm here to buy something. I hope it was that pot you broke. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. With the correct supplies this time. And don't forget to meet the prince at night, too. Yeah. So this is actually a sneaking mission. They will catch you if you enter their line of sight. Seems simple enough. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So they walk by... There's and they look backwards. There's that, they go little, forward. there's that little enclave, uh, enclave you have right there, so you're... Never really in trouble. Yeah, it looks like they'll like never look in there really. I guess he looks and I go <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> okay, so I'll wait for this guy to pass by. Oh! Dang. Crap. Oh, he got caught. See, I knew that was risky. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> We're doing the solid snake style. It's Wednesday, motherfucker. Okay, so, like, I knew that was risky to get up there, but I kind of wanted to take a look and see what I could see. Is there anything in any one of the cells behind us? Uh, n nope. Nope, just pots. All right. Okay, so that looks like the guy we gotta talk to there on the right, so that's alright. So we wait for this guy to go, and then we go, uh, uh, and then he looks back, and then we go, no! Uh, it sure is! Good observation! No! No, I'm kidding. No. God dang it! Get closer. I'm face mashing it! Right, just okay, where is this friggin' idiot? There he is. No. I did it! It's I, So, I, th I think what happens is I was hitting confirm, nah. like, as I was hitting it, but if you hit it, it automatically brings up the, the store is locked, mm. and I was thinking that was in response to my hitting confirm. So I think you have to walk up to it, then hit confirm, and... There. It's old man's Finn's son, Finnegan. Yeah. We were trying to find you. You were the one with the dog. It'd be up to no criminalizing again. How much are you willing to buy for it? <laughs> I am a merchant. <laughs> I like how they call you Mr. Taloon every once in a while because that was his original name mm. in the NES release. He's always been Tornico, but hey, for us there, it was Taloon. Is there a hole in the roof? For him. 
because we did this earlier and it didn't work. Now hide again. And back up the stairs. <laughs> like, we tried that before and it didn't work. I mean, you can get caught and do the same thing, but it's always more fun to... <laughs> to do that. Now we need to go talk to that prince during the night time. Yep. Because we're basically done here for now. Alright, so, since that's going to be a little bit of a wait overnight, I think I'm going to say, until next time, everyone. How dare you. Whoosh. Um, Robin people of Tornico Taloon, the greatest warms merchant in all of Dragon Quest. But until next time, everybody, we're going to go outside and wait till nightfall, and then we're going to come back in, we're going to talk to that prince, because he had something fancy to tell us. I mean, then we can go talk to Finn. I wasn't actually listening when the prince talked to us, but I think I know what he... I know what he wants to tell us, but I don't know what he told us already. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, until next time, everybody.